Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2017 Mitsubishi Lancer ES Sports. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Canso. We're standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards. We've got close to 200 vehicles in stock and go through about 180 on any given month. Now it is making us one of the largest pre-owned vehicle departments here in Queensland. I'm located at our main yard just near DFO, but as you make your way towards the city, you'll actually come across our second pre-owned vehicle yard. Across the road there, brand new part of Toyota and Lexus with parts and services attached out the back. And uh, just in the background here, we've actually got our showroom where we photograph each and every vehicle that comes onto the yard. Throughout the video though, we'll go around the Lancer here in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale. We'll start down around the front, driver's side front, just checking out that alloy wheel, making sure there's no scratching or gutter rash, plenty of depth in that tyre. Now that is part of the roadworthy certificate, uh, which is included in that driveway price here in Queensland. Now we do like to be completely transparent in these videos. Any little hairline scratching or marks, just like that one there. I'm trying to give you a nice reflection to see. Um, but we like to point out these minor imperfections. Around the front end, nice and straight and tidy. Been a low-lying vehicle. Just double checking underneath, making sure there's no gutter damages. Across the bonnet, no dense scratching stone chips. Just there on the front, but at the end of the day, nice and clean and tidy. So, there's a couple little minor markings like you'd expect in a pre owned vehicle, but nothing major. Down that passenger side, nice straight body by the looks. We'll cover each panel as we go. Nice, clean, no gutter rash on the alloy and plenty of depth in the tyre. As we make our way down, just keep an eye out for any markings or imperfections. Just the one on the side mirror there, seems to have half cleaned off. Just a bit of dirt. Uh, one just here on the passenger front door. So a couple of these little markings can potentially get uh, brush touched by a paint perfectionist if need be. Uh, but overall, they are expected on a pre-owned vehicle. But as we have a look at that reverse angle, nice straight body, uh, no major damages. That passenger rear, again, no scratching or gutter rash. And plenty of depth in that tyre as well. So good to see that consistency as we make our way around the vehicle. Uh, around the back end, nice and clean and tidy. And normally you're likely to see a couple of chunks taken out of the back here, rear bar. A bit of dirt there. This one's in excellent condition. You got that reverse camera that you see in action a little bit later on. Um, across the boot and the spoiler, getting great reflection there, so no damage uh, to the paint. Beautiful. Well, we're back here. We'll pop her open, have a bit of a look. Make sure interior-wise is reflecting the exterior. No damages or markings. Beautiful. Down here, you just got a. Someone's left their little fridge cooler. Uh, let me know if you want that. <laughs> uh, but we're just making sure we've got that uh, jack tools and uh, spare wheel underneath there as well. At the end of the day, nice and tidy inside there. Uh, as we go down that uh, driver's side now, again, just try to give you a good angle. We'll cover each panel as we go though, for imperfections. Doesn't even feel like that one split through the paint. So a couple of these little ones may just need a little bit of polish over them and they'll clean off. That fourth and final wheel, again, mark free with plenty of depth in the tire there as well. So. Beautiful, making our way down that driver's side. Just a little bit of dirt there. So good to see she's nice and tidy all around. It's been uh, very well looked after. Uh, obviously uh, reflected, I guess, in the kilometres at the end of the day, uh, but always good to be double checking. Windscreen, no major chips or cracks, again, part of that roadworthy. And across the roof, no dings, dents or hail damage. Nice and straight. Uh, we'll go through the interior as well. Just make sure things like the door carts, uh, they don't have any damages or imperfections, scratches, um, chips or anything taken out of them. No scuff marks. Uh, the seats, no cuts, tears, cigarette burns or stains. Yeah, excellent condition, even the flooring of the carpet. 
No damages and same goes for the roof. Beautiful. Yeah, driver's door. Yeah, obviously the most frequently used. So if we are to see any uh, wear and tear, it is likely to be on this one here. So you got all your um, side mirrors, electric windows, central locking, all those controls there on the driver's door. Um, but as you can see, nice and tidy in Mark III. Even the driver's footwell and seat still in immaculate condition. Beautiful. So we'll jump in and start it up for you though. Uh, you got both sets of keys. Right, so we'll turn her over. So right hand side, the steering wheel, all your uh, controls for the cruise control. Left hand side, all to do with the head unit and Bluetooth, the hands free once it's all connected. But as we can see, it's done 40,263 kilometers. And we'll check that authenticity with the service history shortly. Uh, just make sure head unit's obviously working. Um, making sure that reverse camera works as well. Giving us great vision out the back there, right on that rear bar, so we know exactly where the back of the car is. Um, but at the end of the day, also just double checking things like the touch screen, obviously working beautifully. So make your way down there, all your air conditioning controls just here, tucked away neatly uh, is your little USB and 12 volt. And like most nowadays in the automatic, uh, but very clean and tidy up front, just like the rest of the vehicle's been. No damages, markings, imperfections, no fading, cracking, or stickiness across the dash, which is great to see. Mm. Uh, just double checking, we've got all the books in here. Service history is the main one people want to know about. So I'll have a bit of a flick through. Just make sure it's been done at 15,000, 25,000, and then 40,000 there. So recommended every 15,000. So good to see it's got full service history. Uh, but next one uh, isn't due until about 40, uh, 50,000 Ks. So a good bit of time. Last but not least though, we will have a look underneath the engine while she's still running. Have a look underneath, making sure it's nice and tidy. No red dust or rust build up, not like you'd expect it on a vehicle like this. But also making sure there's no major knocks, rattles, or squeals. That motor ticking over nicely. Beautiful. That was our virtual tour, though, of our 2017 Mitsubishi Lancer ES Sports. I hope you enjoyed, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.